literally using an aluminum pan to carry my makeup. Hashtag filming struggles. All right, so I'm gonna do my demo for the Maybelline Fit Me Matte, Matte and Poreless Foundation. Then I'm gonna do my a Makeup Geek Contour Powder that demos. So, Beauty Blender, which is stained. Um, wait, 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 wait. Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. I'm about to like splurge at Makeup Forever. I might as well since I'm not going to IMATS. I missed out on the Saturday IMATS tickets, which got me bummed. I'm mirrored over here, so. Yeah. I wear a lot of primer. Now I'm gonna apply the Maybelline Fit Me. I got 355. Be a perfect match. And um, yeah, let's apply this one. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I seem to be so far away. Okay, don't mind the crustiness going on in the hairline. It's a mixture of my hair gel and the primer, and it's not looking good, but just so you know what it looks like and what it is. So, this is Matte and Parlous. I use my same beauty blender, Jennifer's wants to wash out this nasty part. Um, but what I like to do with foundation, even if I applied it like this, I like to move it around with my finger first so the beauty blender doesn't soak up all the product in one spot. I have worn this before. The longevity is awesome. I set it, I set it of course, because that's what I do with all my foundations. And it held up. May I even say it's comfortable to Studio Fix Fluid by MAC? May I? I would just say the MAC Studio Fix Fluid is more, uh, has more coverage than this. But this is very buildable, but it's really, really similar. I have these dark spots by my lips that drive me crazy. I would say I went straight into Coverage. Yeah. Yeah. I got all my hair gel and all that stuff. Okay. I'm about to get a nice wash and set today. So don't judge how the hair is looking. It's looking crazy, but that's what I work for today. Alright, so that is medium coverage. And it matches pretty well to my skin. Um yeah, I'm gonna go in with concealer. So that is pretty much the demo for the Maybelline foundation. I'm gonna go in and shovel wrap with my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette. So I'm gonna take NW45, cover that spot right there. Up here. Of my mouth. I have like crazy darkness. Might as well let me do my under eye while I'm at it. This is NW40 and C45. I'm using right here. I'm gonna add some orange to help. supposed to use that concealer because I'm supposed to actually demo the Maybelline Cafe concealer but I'm just gonna put that over top so this is number 30 cafe and I'm just going to I guess highlight
Their bangs are pretty nice. Besides, I mean, maybe I should have gotten um, Deep, which ironically is the lighter version, and Cafe is darker. It kind of just goes into my skin tone. I don't know if it's really showing anything, but that is Cafe. a little bit too dense but I'm gonna work with it hopefully I'm not doing this like <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna reverse contour just to do it before hand since I have the powder in my hand set my whole face with um, MSF Dark Deep. Yep. I said it right this time. I always say Deep Dark. Powder, foundation, or a uh, colored powder really set, puts the makeup together well for me um, because when it goes on, it seems like a filter almost. And I like doing like a backwards C when I get to the front. I'm gonna test out two contours on both sides, both sides of my face. It's gonna look weird when I'm outside in public with two tones of contour, but I'm doing it for you. So I got the Makeup Geek. Let me show you the packaging. Um, this is the packaging of the Makeup Geek contours cute. Uh, this is the Deal Breaker, which is Warm Deep. This is Deal Breaker, which is Warm Deep. That is my ideal shade because I have warm undertones. Then you have Scandal, which is Cool Deep, which is for cool undertones, which is going to go in my kit. All right. When using something like Scandal to contour with for a warm skin tone, it's going to look dirty on me. It's going to look really weird and off as you will tell. Hopefully you will see it through the camera. Doors opening and closing. Alright. It's going to look um, dirty on my skin because it's not a perfect match for me. So if you have a cool tone going for you, go for a cool deep. If you have a warm tone, warm deep you get it so I'm gonna start off with warm deep I'm gonna contour my nose this side of my face with deal breaker this I rediscovered it because I had it for eons this is the angled foundation brush by elf I use this to nose contour I am going to take some off my hand like go like this because it's a lot and I just start from the socket of my eye and bring it down. It's gonna look crazy dark. But you're gonna blend it out. And I just bring it, I stop it right about here. And then you can do that, work your way up. However, And Drew Blend. And I like these contours. School bus going by. I like these contour shades because they're super blendable. And I bring it as close to make my nose appear slender. Alright. And if I want to, I go back with Topaz by Ben Nye and put it up the bridge of my nose and blend it with my contour shade but I will probably do that later if I remember to. So that is that contour. And I start from on top of my ears and bring it down like that.
and then just buff it out. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to do, you know what, just to be accurate, I'm going to do half my face warm and half my face cool. So the right side will be warm, which is what I'm doing right now. And you do your jawline. Go right underneath your jawline and buff it out. I don't have to do that, but you know, it helps with the whole sculpting process. Alright, and contouring just changes your face. It just looks different. Cool deep. Cool. Is that what it's called? Cool deep? Yeah, cool deep. Contour this side of my face. Starting from here. See how it's coming off? See the difference? It looks really dark. And it's like if I'm putting black on my face, that's what it looks like. But I just hit myself in the face. Slow motion. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm doing this part of my face. I'm trying to take as little as possible to do this. Please sculpt out that area. And I know my face looks like it has like black streaks on my cheeks, but when you add blush and do everything together, it looks awesome. I forgot to bring a highlight, so I'm gonna do that later. Just trying to work this into submission. Blend, blend. Okay, it looks a little bit better. So that is cool. Alright. And my nose is warm deep. Okay? Alright. A little secret. I use MSF Deep Dark to do underneath my brows because it looks more natural. And it does the job of studying it. I miss doing that. I think I'm going to go back to using this powder because it just cleans it up and it looks awesome. And for this look, I am going to set my whole eye with MSF because I'm not wearing eye makeup. Oh, I should have primed, right? Oh, well. I'm setting up this whole eye and I'm just going to put on false lashes right here. Alright, blush helps. Beautiful everything. I know people put blush like all over. It looks nice. And my leg is tickling. Because waking up. No oh wake up. This feels so weird. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like a funny sensation. Don't you hate that? Alright, Lorac Tantalizer will be the highlighter of choice. Really load that sucker on. And let's get my mirror. Okay, this is driving me crazy. <sighs> whatever, whatever. And let your cheeks glow. Yes. Okay, these three lashes I would usually go for for no eye makeup lashes, but um, they have a clear lamp band to them and they look unique. So these are 110 by Cherry Blossom. So that is it for the look. Um, this is still drying. I'm just going to apply less lip gloss with no lipstick because I like how that looks. And that's 
pretty much the entire look and thumbnail. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, I'll see you in another video. Bye.